Come on in you get in the dungeon. It's in the shade at least. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how are we doing? Nice to see you back again. Um, well, you've seen us over the last couple of videos um, redecorating the van, um, but we're not quite ready to move in yet, are we? We've got another few days at the Airbnb, and yeah. we are slowly coming to the realization that not sure how we're going to get everything that's in the Airbnb back in the van. There's, there's a load of stuff that's going to go to the storage, so it's a, a massive uh, job to sort everything out to put what we need back in the van obviously van life there's a difference between needing something and wanting it once you can't really have too much of because yeah, you, do. you just fill the van up which is evident um with lots of stuff that you don't need so there is an argument for needs and wants um yeah yeah, yeah. i'm wasting my breath really yeah. aren't i i'll have what i want in the van so, although i have become a little more reason why i do under you know i do know what kind of really really is not worthwhile keeping in there but i'll need it in about a week's time and yeah and that'll be another argument that will be you said yeah yeah fun times ahead yeah not really so instead today although we haven't moved back into the van we're going to go on a little trip to a village we have visited before you haven't well you might have done but not with us we went there a little while ago and yeah. it was cloudy and rainy you really and spent about two hours there, yeah we weren't yeah. there very long um but it's definitely worth a revisit because we wanted to go to the bridge i think it's called a fairy bridge i'll have to yeah. clarify that when we get up there well, i don't know it's a nice little walk and it's yeah. a lovely village to walk around yeah we just want to do a little bit more investigation there's more there than we saw last time and the sun is shining and it's a saturday so people will be here very warm as well so <laughs> Um, and yes, people will be here. It's a Saturday. So, so yeah, we're going to go and do that. Let's go. Oh, and I've also got Amy's drone as well. So I'm hoping to get some nice, uh, you have to test out my drone pilot skills. So, you know, let me know in the comments if any of it's any good. So, all right, we'll see you there. In the meantime, you can go and have a look over there. Look at the castle. Anyway, we're going to go down to this ferry bridge yes. with a nice river. Let's go and do that. It's that way. That way. Bye, newly renovated van. You should really have a name. <laughs> she should have a name. We've got to name her. We have to name our van. She's not had a, a, a name for like however many years yeah, now. That's because we couldn't agree on one, so we kind of give up. Well, if you've got any suggestions in the land of YouTube what we could name our van, then give us a shout. Amazing, really. Just look at all the wildflowers growing in here. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. All wild, just chilling, catching some rays. Yeah. Please wear suitable shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Have been let off leave because it was probably a bit safer 
for them to come down by themselves. They're already there in the shade. Look at them, sitting in the shade. They're already laying down. We've not even barely started this walk yet. Yeah, look. look. Well, oh, well, they're not laying down now, but there you go. There's the two little toads. Have some water. Yep. All ready for a water break. Can you believe it? One thing we've noticed over the last few months that's got worse is Coco's hearing. She's pretty much deaf, completely deaf now. So getting her to do anything, and we have to warn her when we're coming because she jumps out of her skin. So um, yeah, that's something we've learned over the last few months. We now have a deaf dog. Coco. 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 Look, deaf as a post. Okay, Charlotte. Come on in again, in the dungeon. It's in the shade at least. <laughs> if we were called in here. I don't even know what this is. Yeah. It drops down. Is that a well? It's possibly a well. Well, if it's, it's near, got water in it. If it's near the bridge, then yeah. Possibly. It's actually got water in it. I think it's actually a well. Stands to reason that it's full of water though, because this was maybe how this whole place got their water to save them. No, I can tell you all about the, way down. That. the bridge. Yeah. Was constructed in the 16th century and it's the first time because there was no springs here it's the first time that villagers actually actually had proper access to water like without a whole rigmarole of whatever they've had to do before so it actually brought water to the village Happy so presumably that's part of it Uh, grab my swimming trunks. Uh, well, I would, but they're in the B&B &B at the moment, so. See, that's <laughs> the bonus having the van is everything is pretty Yeah, time. exactly. The bonuses of van life, eh? But it's warm now, and the dogs have kind of. Had a 
they're loving the water. But there is a, a nice town up here, so we're going to go to the town now and find somewhere to grab a drink and possibly have something to eat as well. So, um, we do that. Right, doggies, are you ready for the track back? Yeah, we are. Very excited. See you in a bit. Okay, well, that was a little bit of steep. a steep hill to come back up. No filming. Oh my god, sweating and yeah. I know, I that. know now that I am, I thought I was okay, I thought it was fine, I'm not actually. Because <laughs> yeah, normally I have had, and normally I have absolutely no problem racing up, well, not racing, that's a lie, but you know, managing those things without problem with inclines, but I was like, oh my gosh. So, yeah. <laughs> Deep joy. Deep joy. So we're going to go into the town here and um, grab something cold. I feel like having a beer, to be honest with you after that. Probably go straight to my head um, because I need something to eat as well, usual. Um, but um, since I've been doing the, uh, the camper van up, it got me thinking about the power situation in the van as well. And a company that we've worked with before reached out and said, look, you know, um, might have a solution for it. And it's, you know what, it just really got me thinking. So here's me discussing the options available to you for power in your van. So this is the new Flash Speed 1500. What I really want to talk about is, is there an argument for this setup only? in your van instead of the setup that I've got because I know how long it took me to not just source all the products get all the products delivered and then fit all of the individual products into my van where I could have just got one of these so this has got everything built into it it's got a 1500 watt inverter built in it's also got your charging points for your solar panels. Nice and easy, just clip it in. Not got to worry about a solar MPPT, all the cables. I just think there's a big, big argument to be had of whether this is the way to go. Because you can get additional battery banks, but they just stack on top of this, which can give you, each one is like 50, you know, just over 1500 watt hours per battery bank let's check it out let's have a look and see what the features are on this and see if you can actually get it to work that way with setups with your van you put the solar panels on the roof right and I'm gonna ask the manufacturer because it's a very interesting point is can you put this connector and if you can see it on the end of it so you can plug your roof solar into into the power station because if you can, that's a real game changer. How easy is that? You can just plug it in, take it back out again, and leave the panels on your roof, take it somewhere else, plug these in if you want to. I mean, versatility becomes enormous. There's nothing you can't do. These are the same connectors here that I've actually got on the roof of my van. It seems like a, a very, very similar setup. And you've got this cable here to actually charge it up from the mains. The previous one, I'm sure that Vossaman wouldn't mind me saying this, the previous one I got from them, which I, I you've been using for about the last six months, takes eight to 10 hours to charge on the mains. This charges in one hour. One, one hour. What? One hour to charge from flat to full. That's just incredible. Yet again, another game changer. Would I have gone for this rather than the full setup with the three batteries, the inverter, the MPPT, and all of that malarkey? Do you know what? I probably would have, because this is also cheaper. My batteries, I think they were 700 plus each, and I got three of those. My inverter was 350. Um, then my MPPT and then my solar panels on the roof and this is way cheaper way cheaper than that yeah I think I would have probably gone for this instead of the full build that I put in because it was a pain in the chuff to put in literally if this was an extension lead just chuck it in feed it through to the front of the van plug everything in it can deal with quite a lot of power charge everything you know normal cameras phones computers let's try it with something that actually does use quite a lot of power I think a hairdryer should um, kind of do the job. Turn it on.
works absolutely perfectly. Not a glitch. You have your usual type C, two of those. You have four USB ports, a 12 volt car charger. You got three mains plugs, so you could put three extension leads off into the van, into different places. You've also got this. So if you actually get caught with a float flat battery, you have the jump start. And this here is where you link in your additional batteries. Okay. So this is now charging at a sturdy 145 watts. That's pretty good going, you're golden. Links in the description if you'd like to go buy one. They really are great value for money. Okay, so we're gonna go to the town, which is over there. You're coming with us and yeah. Oh, and the dogs found it rather difficult as well. So we've got the pram out because Coco's struggling. We had to carry her most of the way. And even even Lily, you struggled. Look, look at her, look, look at her tongue, look. Look at her. Too. little baby absolutely knackered so we're gonna go and grab a beer start off our sticker collection again it's been a little while Okay, so this place is absolutely stunning. Awesome view. Okay, well, I'm going to talk a bit quiet because there's people around. We just found this really nice little cafe. Just going to have a drink. I just ordered a virgin pina colada because I've got to drive. And Charlotte has ordered. So I'm not going to. <laughs> she's ordered champagne. So I've got a drive and she's ordered a glass of champagne. thing about Grimaud is like, unlike Gassin, um, Momo, not so much Ramatol but definitely Gassin, it's not necessarily somewhere where you would live full time here it's you know it's got all your kind of general shops, tabacs, pharmacies etc so it's somewhere you could actually live year round. I think there's around four and a half thousand people that live here full time and in the summer it's yeah a nightmare to move in so it's the most perfect time of the year to visit because there's people about, things are open but not a nightmare amount of people. Come and visit in April. Good idea, good weather, less people. Okay, so now we've finished our drinks. Time to go and have a look around. Let's have a look, see what Grimaud looks like. So what, it's a real shame there's no sense of smell with cameras because the smell of wisteria back there was just awesome. Absolutely beautiful. And there's quite a lot of it around here, to be honest with you. Doesn't last for long, I don't think, but beautiful. I mean, look at this lane. Stuff like this, everywhere.
Yeah. You fancy a tattoo, Charlie? <laughs> not even a little itty bitty one. No, I appreciate my lovers, but not on me. <laughs> Right, well, Charlotte's just got out of the van because... Bees, a lot of them. Just swarming around the van. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I think the queen must have been in there. Because there is a massive amount of bee activity going on around the van and I need to get in it. And they're right on my door. They seem to be calming down a bit now, but there was literally tons of them. Look at them all. And I kid you not, there's about 30, 30, 40 of them whizzing around. Well, I thought they were flies to start off with, and I realised, no, they're a bit bigger than flies, so... Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that that was fun, but it's, it's absolutely stunning now. Um, this time of day, absolutely beautiful. And, yeah, well, we're going to pack up now and go and find something to eat, because we're Ank Marvin. Yeah, we, we really need to get something to eat, and we need to feed the dogs as well. And the kitchen isn't exactly operational at the moment, so yeah. Well, there's no food and there's no <laughs> pans or anything, so. So yeah, thanks for coming along, and um, we will see you again next week, where we will actually be moving back into the van. Woohoo! I'll miss my big bed. <laughs> the bed is huge. It is, and this one we get a little bit closer, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So we will catch you again next week. So thanks for watching. See Bye you for next now. week. <laughs>